Hello guys, it's Rossi1990 here and it's going to be a potential player upgrade video. First things first, if you look at G-Bolt Team Coins, go check out the GameKeys.co.uk. Links for that will be in the description as well, discount code. If you want to go check out the Facebook page as well, leave a like, that would be absolutely amazing. But yes, you heard correctly, potential player upgrades. And what I mean by that is basically what I did. I went on Footwears, I made my own variation of a few cards. I asked around on Twitter whether or not you wanted to see a video where I upgraded some players manually. And, you know, it potentially could happen. We talk a little bit about it. You make some suggestions in the comments. If you want to see any more videos like this, by the way, smash that like button and I'll do some more. The actual second batch should be out by the end of the month. So we're kind of just debating whether or not people should be upgraded or not. This is what this video basically is. I thought I'd get that kind of out of the way now. So we're going to go over to the first player. And like I said, if you didn't follow me on Twitter already, it's at MrRossi99. It's always in the description. Go check that out and um, go follow me on there. So I ask a lot of questions about my videos on there, etc. So if you want to get involved in what can be on my channel, then definitely go follow me on there. But the first player is going to be Third Inform Hazard. Now I'm going to go for the Informs or the highest rated of the cards and then upgrade them. Basically what will happen is there'll be like a chain reaction. This guy gets upgraded by say two. His other Inform will get upgraded by two. His regular card will get upgraded by two, etc, etc. It'll go like that. So I'm going to go for the highest rated one possible and then work my way from there. So I'm going to go for Third Inform Hazard. What we're basically going to do is write a few changes down there. As you can see, rating I'm going to put up by two. His pace is going to go up by one. Shooting one, passing one, dribbling one, etc, etc. Defending and heading I doubt will go up anymore. But if you look at the new and improved upgraded third inform hazard potentially that looks like a sexual card 90 rated i feel as if he will mimic suarez and make the push up to 90 possibly even higher because he's having a sensational year probably the player of the premier league right now he's really really coming to his own this year especially we all knew he was a really good up and coming talent but he's definitely showing it this year that is for sure his pace up by one like i said a 91 pace could be higher to be fair shooting gets a push into 90 as well i don't know what pop was all about then his passing also goes up into 90, and his dribbling goes into 92. So if you look at his card now, potentially could have four stats over 90. At the moment, he's got two stats over 90 and two high 89 rated stats as well. What a card. Obviously, his in-game stats will go up quite a chunk, but um, this is just on-card stats. So they probably won't go up a ton, but look at that 90 rated card. How sexual would that be? We'll move on to the next player now, which is going to be sec <clears throat> sorry, second in form, Ross McCormack, if I can get my words out. I don't know if it's a little bit of a biased one. I know a lot of people may think that because obviously I'm a Leeds fan. I'm a big admirer of Ross McCormack. I do believe he is our best player. And I do believe he's one of the best players in the championship. I don't just think that because I'm a Leeds fan. I just think that because, to be fair, Premier League clubs are trying to buy him in the transfer window. So he's got to be good for something, right? But basically... Um, I may have upgraded them a little bit too much, but that is debatable in the comments. Make sure to leave your suggestion on that. And also, if you want to see any different ones which aren't in this video, make sure to leave a suggestion in the comments, like I've said before, and what you would put them up to, your personal opinion. And I know there's one I haven't definitely haven't done in this video should be upgraded. I've only done four, because I feel as if that's too many and I might bore you. So I thought I'd go with just four this episode, see if you like it, the kind of idea, and then we'll make other videos around it. But the changes for Ross McCormack, as you can see on your screen now, rating up by three debatable pace up by three i do believe he'll push in his pace a little bit higher shooting up by two that's definitely a debatable one i may have pushed that a little bit too high passing up by two dribbling not up any which you know, possibly could go up by dribbling actually defending not up and heading up by one just around the stats out to a nice 69 there but there there is his new and improved 80 rated card what do you make of that guys he's gonna have 80 pace potentially i don't know i don't feel as if he's slow in real life i feel as if he has yeah, been a little bit harsh on his pace another thing i'd like to see improve about ross mccormack is four star skills added he definitely is not a three-star skiller. He does Ronaldo chops in real life. He does some very nice skill runs. Not you know, not like an epic skill or like a roulette and a freaking advanced rainbow and stuff like that. But you know what I mean. He is definitely more skillful than some of the people they are putting four-star skills in this year. And apparently they are going to upgrade El Shuari skill moves. So hopefully they can do that for Ross McCormack as well. And if they do, he'll be such a good card. Imagine that. Four-star skills with that card. 80 pace, 88 shooting. Maybe a little bit high. Maybe a little bit biased on that one. Two on more and passing. I do believe he's a hell of a lot better passing than EA make him out to be. He's a very good holding, like in behind the striker type pass and player if Leeds got, got a target man and oh my lord it'll be sensational dribbling could go up I haven't put it up on this one though defending doubt it heading I doubt it will go up by many one if anything but the in-game stats is where this guy will go up a ton he'll go up at strength I'd imagine pace agility everything is finishing may smash the roof but we're going to move on to the next player which is the first player who's going to have a position change it's Jesse Rodriguez or Hesse Rodriguez as people have been telling me to call him but I'm always going to call him Jesse because that's what I've always called him and it's just the way it is but there's his original card obviously he's a striker and if you watch my random hire from yesterday you'll know that he bagged four goals in that game and I really do like this card but the position change I do believe he'll switch to a left wing slash right wing not too sure yet depending on what EA make of that but apparently he doesn't play up up front hardly ever for Real Madrid. He may like 
shoot into that position because to be fair they've got people like Ronaldo if Ronaldo's playing and Jesse Rodriguez is getting into the team then there's no way in hell he's going to be up front is there he'd definitely be out on the wing they'll probably be playing that 4 2 3 all formation with the wide players just to get you know wing play in there and Jesse Rodriguez is definitely going to be one of them people I do believe we'll get a plus three in rating basically what I mean by that is he'll push into a gold I can highly I will probably say that he's having a really good season he's getting into, in amongst the team now doing well scoring goals etc picking up like one a game at the moment which is pretty cool pace will go up by two possibly shooting will go up two passing will stay the same dribbling up a little bit basically I'll just show you his card now what do you make of that guys left wing gold shiny Jesse Rodriguez reminds me a little bit like of a Tello style of player Probably have to, you have the four star skill moves, four star weak foot, you have good work rates. He'll be actually probably a cheap Ronaldo. That'll probably be the way of looking at him. Obviously, he's not Portuguese, he's Spanish, he'll probably be better. Um, what do you make of that, guys? It looks like a really nice card. I'll probably be picking up that one if that one comes to effect. Let me know what you make of that one. But we'll move on to the wild card of the episode. I did ask on Twitter, to, I did a little straw poll thing. Basically, I was going to pick between Diego Costa, Negredo, or Pedro because they were the most suggested ones on Twitter. And Diego Costa won with 50% of the vote out of three. So obviously, you can tell he won. But I informed Diego Costa. He's having a great season. A lot of Premier League clubs are interested in him. I know Real Madrid and Barcelona are probably interested in him as well as PSG, etc, etc. Loads of clubs are going to be interested in him. I do believe he'll get quite a nice chunky upgrade of two at rating, two at pace, two at shooting, one at dribbling, one at heading. That is his new card. 86 rated. Still looks like an absolute tank. You have strength of in the 90s heavily. Probably like even 99 strength, I would imagine. He's a really good player in real life. But one thing which isn't... Um, which I don't think EA can change, but I do believe he's committed to Spain in real life, if I'm not mistaken. So he's not actually Brazilian anymore. He'll play for Spain. If I'm not mistaken, I might have got that completely wrong. But if that's the case, will EA change his nationality in game? That is a debatable one. I don't think they will, but it might be something to look up into. Maybe it could happen. You just never know. But that is the end of this video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, a like would be absolutely amazing. What do you make of the cards I've chosen? Would you have ch chosen many differently? Would you have not upgraded a few of them? Let me know in the comments. Get a nice debate in the comments. Also, like I said before, make your own variation of these um, cards. You can basically go on to Footwiz and you can just have a little bit of fun on there. Make your own version of them. Have a little bit of fun. Tweet them at me. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, like I said before. If you liked the video, like I said many a time, smash the like button. Have a nice day. See you again soon. And um, bye-bye. A little disclaimer at the end of this video for the people who want to see the random hybrid layer. Unfortunately, there won't be one today purely because, again, my Elgato has failed me. I do apologize, but there's still two videos out today for you guys. There'll be one tomorrow. Random hybrid. Make sure to look forward to that. Hopefully, you've still enjoyed this video. See you again soon. Have a nice day. And um, bye-bye.